Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with The Witness. Uh, last time I left you, I was staring up at the mountain. I have not been up there yet, so I'm gonna go check it out. Enjoy. Those clouds look like they're making a shape, don't they? What are they making? Wait, what happened to the path? Um... Okay, I guess I can go here? What are the clouds? It's definitely something. How do I get... How do I get up the mountain? Now I feel like I'm going down the mountain. I don't want to go down the mountain. How do I get up the mountain? Alright, let's explore. Got... Ooh, flowers. Look at the pretty flowers. Um, is there a puzzle anywhere here? Where are the puzzles? The puzzles. Is this a puzzle? This looks like it should be a puzzle, doesn't it? I don't know. Alright, let's walk around. Explore. What's with the weird clouds? Definitely something weird about those clouds back there.
like the tree with faces in it. Um. All right, I guess it's supposed to be a rough way up. No straight path on this mountain. Oh, there's a hand. There's a hand sticking out of the mountain. Okay. Ooh, look at that view. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Got some good views here. It's too bad there isn't like an in-game camera system. Am I standing on someone's head? I, oh, I am standing on someone's head. Look at that! There's purple water. I haven't seen that part of the... I mean, I saw the red from somewhere, but I didn't see the other colors. Sorry, I'm just enjoying taking some pictures. It's so pretty. Try to get one without the hand too. Maybe not. The hand's kind of in the way, isn't it? Get one like this, but it's not the same. All right, I can always come back here later. I think. I mean, it's a bit of a walk, but. Okay. Let's. Can I continue? Um. Hello. Now what? How do I get through? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Wait, this is where I came from, isn't it? Um, what if I like tap up there? Tap at the top of the mountain. Uh, okay, so that wasn't so. I mean, I got like a view. Got a cool view there, but. Ooh, what's that? Is that a tape recorder? Ah! Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I think it is. I'm gonna try to get it. I think I'm poking at a graphical glitch. I think it's just a graphical glitch and not... And not a recorder. Oops. Okay. Uh... Alright, back up here. Is that, is that just... How do I get up the mountain? Am I going... Oh, now I'm going up the mountain. I guess I have to take a little... Oh, Oh, look at the views! Look at these views! Oh, this is so cool! I'm just gonna take screenshots. Because this is really cool. Oh, we're gonna have such a good view up at the top of the mountain, aren't we? Look at that. Ah, the hand, this head and hand all the way down there. Oh man, after I take w finish this video, I'm gonna have to take even more photos. This is just really cool. 
really, really cool. Okay. Up at the top. Oh, recorders. All right, I'm going to shut my mic so we can listen to them. Up there, you go around every hour and a half, time after time after time. You wake up usually in the mornings, and just the way that the track of your orbits go, you wake up over the Mideast, over North Africa. As you eat breakfast, you look out the window as you're going past, and there's the Mediterranean area, and Greece, and Rome, and North Africa, and the Sinai, the whole area. And you realize that in one glance, that what you're seeing is what was the whole history of a man for years, the cradle of civilization. And you go around down across North Africa and out over the Indian Ocean and look up at that great subcontinent of India pointed down toward you as you go past it. And Ceylon off to the side, Burma, Southeast Asia, out over the Philippines and up across that monstrous Pacific Ocean vast body of water. You've never realized how big that is before. And you finally come up across the coast of California and look for those friendly things. Los Angeles and Phoenix and on across El Paso. And there's Houston. There's home. And you look and sure enough, there's the Astrodome. And you identify with that, you know? It's an attachment and down across New Orleans, and then looking down to the south, and there's the whole peninsula of Florida laid out. And all the hundreds of hours you spent flying across that route, down in the atmosphere, all that is friendly again. And you go out across the Atlantic Ocean and back across Africa. And you do it again, and again, and again. And that identity, that you identify with Houston, and then you identify with Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and New Orleans, and everything. And the next thing you recognize in yourself is you're identifying with North Africa. You look forward to that, is you identify with. When you go around it in an hour and a half, you begin to recognize that your identity is with that whole thing. And that makes a change. You look down there. And you can't imagine how many borders and boundaries you crossed again and again and again. And you don't even see them. At that wake-up scene, the Mideast, you know there are hundreds of people killing each other over some imaginary line that you can't see. From where you see it, the thing is a whole. And it's so beautiful. And you wish you could take one from each side in hand and say, Look at it from this perspective. Look at that. What's important? And so a little later on, your friend, again those same neighbors, another astronaut, the person next to you goes out to the moon. And now he looks back and sees the Earth, not as something big where he can see the beautiful details, but he sees the Earth as a small thing out there. And now that contrast between that bright blue and white Christmas tree ornament and that black sky, that infinite universe really comes through. The size of it, the significance of it, it becomes both things. It becomes so small and so fragile and such a precious little spot in that universe that you can block it out with your thumb. And you realize that on that small spot, that little blue and white thing is everything that means anything to you. All of history and music and poetry and art and war and death and birth and love, tears, joy, games, all of it is on that little spot out there that you can cover with your thumb. And you realize that that perspective, that you've changed, that there's something new there, that relationship is no longer what it was. And then you look back on the time when you were outside on that EVA and those few moments that you had the time because the camera malfunctioned, that you had the time to think about what was happening. And you recall staring out there at the spectacle that went before your eyes. Because now you're no longer inside something with a window looking out at a picture. But now you're out there 
and what you've got around your head is a goldfish bowl, and there are no limits here. There are no frames. There are no boundaries. You're really out there, over it, floating, going 25,000 miles per hour, ripping through space, a vacuum, and there's not a sound. There's a silence, the depth of which you've never experienced before. And that silence contrasts so markedly with the scenery and the speed with which you know you're going. That contrast, the mix of those two things, really comes through. And you think about what you're experiencing and why. Do you deserve this? This fantastic experience? Have you earned this in some way? Are you separated out to be touched by God to have some special experience here that other men cannot have? You know the answer to that is no. There's nothing that you've done that deserves that, that earned that. It's not a special thing for you. You know very well at that moment, and it comes through to you so powerfully that you're the sensing element for man. You look down and see the surface of that globe that you've lived on all this time, and you know all those people down there. They are like you. They are you. And somehow you represent them when you are up there. A sensing element. That point out on the end. And that's a humbling feeling. It's a feeling that says you have a responsibility. It's not for yourself. The eye that doesn't see does not do justice to the body. That's why it's there. That's why you're out there. And somehow you recognize that you're a piece of this total life. You're out on that forefront and you have to bring that back somehow. And that becomes a rather special responsibility. It tells you something about your relationship with this thing we call life. And when you come back, there's a difference in that world now. There's a difference in that relationship between you and that planet, and you and all those other forms of life on that planet, because you've had that kind of experience. It's a difference, and it's so precious. And all through this, I've used the word you because it's not me. It's not Dave Scott. It's not Dick Gordon, Pete Conrad, John Glenn. It's you. It's us. It's we. It's life. It's had that experience. And it's not just my problem to integrate. It's not my challenge to integrate, my joy to integrate. It's yours. It's everybody's. Russell Schweikart, 1975. Damn. That was a lot to take in. Um... There's definitely some deeper stuff going on here. And I still can't stop taking photos. Um, not sure what's gonna happen. So I'm guessing, based on the fact that I have two lasers, uh, lit up, two lasers coming towards the mountain, and two panels here, uh, that have slid off, slid open. So, I'm guessing there are five more lasers I need to light up. And I'm not sure what the rest of these statues represent. Workers, there's the guy being practically pushed off the edge. Uh, what's over here? There's something over here. Oh! She's climbing! She's climbing up the mountain can't stop taking photos. That's all. Uh, so much detail. I hope she's climbing, not falling. Um, let's go see what happens when I complete this puzzle. Oh, I think it's just a tracing of that river, that stream. 
Huh. I don't think anything happens. Wait, so do I have to walk all the way back down? Is that how this works? Um, if that's the case, I may want to stay up here and take some screenshots while I'm not recording. I know I took a bunch already, but... Wow, it's just really cool up here. You can see the whole island. I'm gonna have to check out these colored water... These colored pools. One of them looks like blood. Um, it's a lot that I still haven't explored. Yeah. So I may cut this video short, just, uh... Oh no. Um... Just so I could spend some time up here on my own. And... Then figure out where I want to go next. Maybe the, maybe the colored pools. This is really cool. What was with those clouds? Okay, figure out what the weird clouds. Alright. Probably boring you now, so yeah, I'll cut this short and tomorrow get back to solving some puzzles. This is just uh little exploration video to check out the views. Let's see what he's looking at exactly. Ah, oh, he's gonna get down. She. It's a she. Yeah. That's very cool. Alright, so that's The Witness. Uh, I'll be back with more uh, tomorrow, in the next video, I'll hit some puzzles. Uh, if you enjoy this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye-bye.